you grew up being in New York. Yeah. Uh, a Jet fan. I was a Jet fan growing up as a kid, but like, you know, back in the day, they wouldn't air the game on TV if it wasn't sold out. So you got blacked out. Yeah, because right? Shea Stadium didn't. And it didn't never fill up. was sold out, obviously, <laughs> during the 70s with the Jets. So right. um, you, I would want to watch football on TV on Sundays, and eventually, like, you would just watch whatever else was on TV. Yes. So a lot of times that would be the Cowboys, and the Cowboys were winning. And so eventually you're like, you know what? I'm. That's my team, but I'm going to like them, too. Right. And then eventually it became I like them only. And then the Jets <laughs> just became like, you know, a you part of my Jets. history. That's OK. You know, that's OK. It's a part of my history. OK. But we we're, we we have a lot of work to do in, in, in Big D. Like we have uh, we have a lot of work. I think, uh, you know, look, I've been I've been a diehard for now a very long time. Many, many decades. We won't go into how many of the decades, but it's a few. Yes. Um. It's time that the owner gives the job of GM to someone who really, really knows what he's doing and to allow our team to get a coach that has true identity, right? I feel like America's team no longer has an identity. It's just kind of middle America, wash, kind of no real definitive direction in terms of the way the offense works. I mean, are we a running team? Or are we a passing team? Obviously, you know, our O-line is is kind of in shambles right now, even though, because that's how they built it. But mm -hmm. I just feel like Garrett doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Like, he doesn't have a true coaching style identity, and I think the Cowboys really need that. In terms of the owner being the general manager and giving up that role, that, what's the words for it, isn't happening. We know that. <laughs> we we do. On on Earth One. Yes. <laughs> which we cohabitate. We do. We do. We spend a lot of time on Earth One. As people. Yes. That is not happening well you know then then he's gotta recognize that um turn it into a business and well, not a recognize. and not a fun thing for him to have right like the relationships that he has obviously you know garrett was his you know felt like his child right and it was like he but he's not the heir apparent right he's not that guy and i don't see it that way and you know look we were all fans and you know i'm not in the game of football and and never claim to be and never will be right um but i just feel like they need a true identity in terms of who they are um and and i don't feel like jason garrett gives them that well z could give him that that's for sure he I could mean, but but you know, then like, but and then hit people in the mouth and, and, and defensively they're hitting people in the mouth over yes. these past five weeks. Like Absolutely. To, that they're has surprised much better. me. That has surprised me. They are physical. They're going to hurt you. Absolutely. And you know that going into a week against the Dallas Cowboys. I don't recall the last time I could say something like that. It's been it's been, been a, a lot. It's been a long time. It's been it's been. I don't think uh, it's been in the last three decades that you so could ever say that. So maybe that could be their identity. It could be, but I feel like we're certainly not fully there yet. Right to where you know you're going to really rest on that defense to win your games. I right. mean, obviously the last game that's what Garrett did, and we lost. Um, <laughs> you know, like he didn't go forward on fourth. He rested on the defense, and at the in 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 OT, it didn't work out. And right, DeAndre and and Hopkins, I and I man, get it, wow. but like. Yeah. Zeke is great. Zeke, you know, he's pounding it and he's doing a fantastic job. Um, but I, I, I don't see um, I don't see them, you know, stepping out and being a great team mm -hmm. um, w the way we are currently constructed. Um, and I really feel like uh, Tony Romo played a bigger role in um, in Dak's uh, growth. I feel like how do you mean? Well, I feel like he was really helping helping him with reads and understanding how to make in-game adjustments. Um, his his knowledge of the game, and I can't, I, I feel like we kind of see that on CBS when he's yes. you know as a as a as a commentator, right. he really kind of understands what's about to happen and the and the plays that that should be run. Um, I feel like that on the sideline for Dak has been lost. And his ability to make in-game adjustments um, is not happening. You're saying Cooper Rush does not offer that from the two, number two hole on the depth I'm, chart? Is I'm, you're saying I'm not Rivera? seeing it. <laughs> it's, an interesting, <laughs> I, it's an interesting analysis of what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.